Yeah. Gavin, good battling point on the road at the weekend there. How did you see the game going? It certainly was a good point. It was a, a very, very tough game. We knew it would be that way. I think every game in this league is going to be extremely challenging. Um, it's one which we had to dig in, we had to battle, we had to spend bits of time defending, which the girls did really, really well. On the same token, they had to do that as well at times. So it was a very, very evenly matched game. So it's probably in the end, I think both sides can probably look at it thinking Gales had a couple of great saves, some Spans, we've had a couple of great opportunities as well. So it could have went either way, and probably in the end, I think it draws a fair result and one that we're really happy with. It keeps the it keeps the momentum going, two wins and a draw, three clean sheets in a row. So there's a lot of positives to take from it. I think we can certainly perform better, especially in possession of the ball. We'd like to be more of an attacking threat, but those things will come. There's still things to work on. It's still early on in the season. We've got a lot to do, and we're, we'll know what we need to do, and we're working hard to improve that. In terms of opposition, the Celtic game aside, it's the first real test of a team kind of at the same level almost as ourselves, given that we've played two teams that came up along with us. Is that kind of where you see us in the league in terms of position-wise? I think it's a good benchmark and I think you're right and I think we said that before the game we knew what Thistle we knew what Hamlet would be like because we played them so often um, last season so we come to Spartans who are a well-established SWP are one team they have a lot of investment good players fit players good coaches well-organised so we knew it was going to be so it was always going to be probably the first indication of where we think we're really at and I think it's Hopefully we can be around about that. And if you're around about the Spartans when it come the end of the season, I think you've had a really, really good season because they've done really well over the last few years. They continue improving and invest. So it is a good benchmark and it's something we're hoping to try and strive to, to achieve to be around about, if not above. It says a lot as well for the confidence of the team as a whole that they came off the pitch on Sunday and you could tell they were disappointed that they hadn't actually won the game. That kind of says a lot, doesn't it? It does and I think it, it tells you that standards are, are very, very, very high. And it's a group of players and a group of staff that are that have won game after game after game for two years, and they've won them convincingly and they've scored a lot of goals. I think now you go to SWPL one, it gets a, a lot harder. It's far far more challenging to do that. You need to do things really well. You need to be on the money all the time with what you do. If you're not, you're going to lose. You're going to get beat. So the girls are aware of that, and they know how it is. But it is a it is a fair point when they come off and they're disappointed because they have standards. They expect to win games and. It's not going to happen every time, but it's a real positive when you do have a, a disappointing group. It shows that hunger and desire where they, they want to keep kicking on and they want to be the best they can be. Sure. Back at home this weekend against Hearts. Um, like we said earlier on, there's, there's no easy games in the league, so another tough game to come. But back at home as well, it'll be one I'm sure you're looking to win. I think it is. And going to every game with that, that positive attitude of what do we have to do? We know what Hearts good at. We've watched them. We know how they are. Maybe slightly different with Eva coming in, new coach coming into that. So they may change slightly. But I think like every game, we prepare, we respect opposition, but a lot of it comes back to us. We, we know the strengths that we have, we know where we're good, the areas of the pack that we're good, and we'll, we'll work hard every night at training. The girls put effort in to go and try and be the best they can be. So it is one we're looking forward to. It's one we know if we could perform well, we've got a chance of winning. We we'll also know if it's one we don't perform well, you've got every chance you can lose it. So that's, again, just the standard of the league and what we're up against. But that's, that's the beauty of it. I think every game is really, really competitive, which keeps that desire and that that hunger to go and try and succeed even more. The last two home games in the league, we've had some good crowds in, particularly the Celtic game. It would be really good to see the fans back and supporting the girls again on Sunday, wouldn't it? 100% and I think the girls deserve it. They work really, really hard during the week. They do a lot of stuff at the club. They do a lot of stuff away from the club and they take real pride in coming out to go and put a show on for people when they come along. So the last two games have, have been fantastic and the chat about it, you hear them talking around training, they're looking forward to being back at home again because there's a real buzz when you get family and friends, but not only family and friends coming along now, there's other girls' clubs that are coming along, there's supporters that are starting to attend as well. So hopefully it'll be another good turnout and hopefully the girls can put a performance on again and pick up three points. And it can make a difference for the girls as well, can't it, to have a bit of back and behind them maybe if there's difficult times in the game. It certainly does and just, just have people coming along and you witnessed it in the Celtic game, the score late on, we get it back to 3-2 and that noise comes there, you get that enthusiasm and there's it just it's like anything, you're just naturally going to get that little buzz and that little lift from it. So it certainly makes a difference and they totally appreciate it, as do it all. So hopefully there's a good turnout again and they can inspire the girls to, to kick on and hopefully get a win.